Yes guys, hopefully you've clicked on today's video because you want to find the best free golf app that will help you improve your game, but it's completely and utterly free. Let's get into it. Right, so we're going to get straight into it. I'm going to show you the app in detail, nice and quick, so it doesn't leave you waiting. So this app is available on both Android and iOS, which I think is perfect because there's lots of options out there, but some of them are only available on different devices. This device is available on both. So if your playing partner has a different device to you, for example, I have an iPhone, my playing partner has an Android, we can both use the app simultaneously and both record our scores. Okay, so it doesn't mean we're using different apps. So, when you tap on the app, you'll get a welcome back, or a welcome, and you may need to create an account if it's your first time using it. I would say to create an account takes less than a minute, and it makes this app so much easier to use. So the first page you're greeted with is this page here. As I'm in and around the Peterborough area, if I tap on golfing in Peterborough, it shows me all the local courses in and around Peterborough. This app is great because it has a social aspect, but it also has a GPS. So it's a bit like your Facebook, bit like your Instagram with your social media, but you can also use it for the GPS and uh, find out how far away you are from holes and hazards, etc. Okay, so if you go on feed, this is where you can find your friends and you can post scores, and this is the social aspect. Okay, so I can create, if I tap on that top right, I can create a new post. So I can add, uh, talk about something, I can add a, a photo, um, and I can also talk about it with my friends. Um, to add uh, your friends. Next to that uh, post icon is a plus and you can search for your buddies it's called on this app um, and you can find people in a list that have played your course or you can search for people in the top corner. Now the bit you've come for is to the GPS. Now the GPS is really good you can use it just as a GPS and you can also score on it and if you score on it it then sends it to your feed so your, your friends can see how well you've done. Now, before we do that, I'm going to press me, which is two away from the bottom right. And this is me here. You can see my name. I've got some strange profile photo at the moment. Likely to change that. So you can see all my recent scores. Most of them are at Thorny, some other courses as well. Now, there is a paid version for this app. So the paid version is £50 a year. But before you click off the video, the free version is a, completely free, and it's good enough to use free without paying for it. If you use a free version like I did for six months, and you eventually want to take a step up to the paid version, which I'll show you later on, um, I would wait to they give a discount. It's normally £50. I managed to get it for 35 when they were doing a little discount one month. So I'd say wait for that. Now, with the uh, paid version, you get some extra add-ons, which I'll go down later. But for now, I'm going to show you how to use it on the free version. This is a paid uh, version, but I'm going to show you the features that you get with a free version. So, if I tap on synced, these are the courses I have synced and maps that I have downloaded because these are the courses I play regularly. You can see my home course at the top, so I'm going to tap on that and it comes to your page. So, what's great, if you're playing a course that's an hour and a half, two hours away and you're travelling and you're unsure what the weather's going to be like, you just tap on the course on here and you can see the weather is there and you can see it for the next couple of days. Um, near enough a week actually, you can see into the future and also it has a leaderboard, okay, so some really great uh, features, for little add-ons um, that make it a little bit more interesting, okay, so you can preview the course, so if you're unsure what the course is like, if there's some good holes, there's some bad holes, you can preview the course, you can change the T and you can scroll through and see all the different holes. Right, so let's say you've just turned up to this new golf course, or your home course, doesn't matter, you need your GPS, you've left your rangefinder in the car, I personally don't use a rangefinder anyway, but let's say you've left it in the car, oh, what I'm going to use for my distances, perfect app, okay, so I'm going to start round, now you can choose to score, and you can choose how you score, so scoring mode, you've got stroke play and stable food, and you can add your playing partners here, so you can see my two playing partners are there, um, you have to select what tees you're playing off, so World Handicap System, and you've also got Europe, so these have courses abroad, so if you go abroad on a nice holiday to Spain or Portugal, first of all you're very lucky, B, you've got the courses out there as well and different handicap systems. You select your handicap, if you want to play a playing handicap as well, you can select that. You can add uh, players like I said, and with the paid version you can select a handicap round, 
So this creates a handicap within the app. It's not an official handicap, but it gives you a, a rough handicap. You then, uh, so if you want to score, uh, I'm going to select stroke play just to see, make it really easy. Or you can choose GPS. So if you want to score on a uh, actual scorecard on a bit of card, you can do that and just have this as a GPS. If you want to score, you can score. I'm going to select scoring because it shows you best of both worlds. So when I press start round, okay, the app will load and you can see the first hole at my home course is 508 yards. And what's good about this is with the paid version, it gives you what club it recommends you to hit. Okay, I don't use it very often, but it's quite good on a tee that you're not sure what to hit. Now, if let's say I wasn't sure, you can see the bunker down here, I wasn't sure how far away that was, all I have to do is tap on it and I can drag and move this. And you can see to the bunker is 207 yards, and then from the front of the bunker to the hole is another 300 yards. So if I wanted to get my driver to there, I could, let's say I hit my driver 240 yards, I know I've still got 264 to go. Now, with the paid version, you can track your shot. So I can go from my tee. Obviously, I'm at home, so it's very, very confused. I'm 20,000 yards away. Um, but you can walk and track how far you hit your shots. Now, that's a paid version. It's just a little add-on. Um, it's not something that you necessarily need. So let's say I've hit my driver down here. Um, again, it would then recommend me to hit a free wood to the front of the green. And what's great, if you've got a smart watch, so if you've got an Apple Watch or a Samsung Watch, it will bring you the yardages on there, and you can do all the scoring on there as well. So when I'm, let's say, here, I've got 167 yards. 167 is to the middle, so it's given me 167, and it will also give me the front and back. So the front is roughly uh, 14 yards or 508 and then it's 11 yards uh, over that, so the back is 519, for example. Okay, but that will show you on the watch, and you can also use this on your phone. If you've got a uh, trolley and you've got a uh, phone holder, even better, you can put that on there, okay? Once you've played the hole, you can then tap to the next hole, and before you do that, you can select how many strokes. So let's say this is a par five, let's say I've got a bogey, so six. How many putts did I do? Let's say I had a good First hole, two putted sand shots. No, I didn't end up in any sand shots. Any penalties, you can add if you know. Fairway, so you can select if you fairway, you miss the fairway. Uh, for example, sand saves up and down. So it gives you really in-detailed stats, okay? And you can go through each hole. And then when you finish a round, you can finish a round. Now, I'm not going to save it, but this will give you lots and lots of stats. So you can see stroke play. Also, how many points I would have got if we played Stableford. And it gives you loads of holes played, total putts. So if you're one, if you're thinking, oh, I maybe I can improve on my putting, you can see actually how many putts you make over 18 holes or how many holes you play. And that can help you really improve. Now, I'm not going to save it. Uh, I'm just going to delete it. But let's say I'm going to go back to one of my old So This 92. Okay. So this is one I played a while ago. So you can see a 70 handicap average score. So I played 18 holes. I made a total of 40 putts, so not a bad putting round if you two, you look into two putt everything, and it gives you your uh, score, your scorecard, so you can see everything there, and if you've got playing partners, I didn't add any uh, information on whether I hit fairways or not, but all the information is there if you need it. Now, this is where the performance tab comes in massive. So the performance tab, you can see greens in regulation, I be honest I don't add those I'll mainly look at it for the yardage but you can see scoring my average scoring is nearly 50% it's a bogey okay so not bad but maybe I can push forward and get those pars is it my putting let me down is it not my putting per hole is 0 0.4 and you can tap on these and it gives you a bit more uh, in detail stats so score uh, per hole so par 3 I'm averaging 3.9 so sometimes I get a par but mainly I'm getting a bogey which is also what equals the scoring Okay. Now driving accuracy, again, if you hit fairways, it'll tell you this. You can also, uh, on the paid version, record how far uh, you've hit it. Um, so this drive here was just me playing a general round. I hit it for 247 yards off the tee. Then we get back to me, and it gives you all these in detail. Now the Premium Pro, there are two uh, types of premium. There's like a little premium and the full premium. I pay for full premium. And I'm just going to go through, so you get shot by shot. So you can track each shot, 
and you can see how you play and it gives you more in detail stats. Watch scoring, so you can see what was on about there, gives you the distance to the front, the back and the middle. Okay, so depending on where the flag is on your course, you can judge where we are. It gives you the par and the slope index, so you can see how tough the hole is. Uh, highlights, so it will say, oh, you got a birdie on the ninth hole, for example, that was your best hole because all the others you parred or bogeyed or got worse on. Shot tracker, so again, what I've just showed you with that drive, I drove it, what was it, 247 yards. So that was me from the tee and I walked and I showed you that at the start when it said it was about 20,000 yards away. Premium maps. Now, those maps you've seen there are premium, okay? The fairways on the non-premium are a little bit blurry, but you can work out where the hazards are. You can work out where there's a stream, you can work out where there's water, bunkers, etc. The only thing um, with the free version that is uh, HD is the green. So the, hopefully the most important area is the green is HD. You'll get that on the free version, which I think is really important. You get this... Uh, reality thing and I haven't used this much because my course is quite flat but if you play on a course where let's say there's a par 3 which goes downhill and you can't actually see the hole until you get over the tee you can hold your phone up like you're taking a video and it will show you where the hole is relative it will tell you what club to hit and also the difference in height which I think is pretty cool you can also add notes so for example on the 16th hole at my course I've written a note on there to tell me to hit a 5-iron, not a driver, okay, because there's lots of danger, I can control the 5-iron a bit more, because if everyone likes to get on the tee, I'm going to get the big weapon out, I'm going to hit that driver, not always the best choice. You get handicap simulator, uh, so over uh, 20 rounds, you get that handicap, um, and it will change it over, so after 8 rounds, your ninth round after that, after you've done 20, then goes back uh, round and counts to your handicap. So all the stuff is there. Now, uh, I'm pretty sure that's pretty much it. I don't think I've missed too much. But it was just a little video to show you the best app. It's so simple to use. Some others are so complicated to use. And you've also got highlights. So my longest drive recorded is 270 yards. Um, streak, birdie, par, par when I played Sudbrook the other week. And it gives you lots of different highlights and stats. Now, give this app a try. If you've got a different app that you use and you think I should use differently, leave it in the comments, let me know. But hopefully, give this app a try. Let me know how you get on. I'd love to see, hear and see your feedback. Please leave a like, hit subscribe if you did enjoy the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.